A lot of discussion about how long the coronavirus can live on a surface and potentially infect others. One study in the New England Journal of Medicine found the virus could remain viable and infectious up to days on certain surfaces and conditions. So when you're getting out of the house, what more could you do to be protecting yourself? Well, tonight, reporter Mal Meyer looks into some of the facts when it comes to how it spreads. It's part of our News 8 Now investigation. There are some times that you can't help but leave your home, even if it's for the mail. So can I get it from that? Both the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the World Health Organization agree the risk is low. The likelihood of an infected person contaminating the package is low. Then, the risk of catching the virus from a package that has been moved, traveled, and exposed to different conditions and temperatures is also low. However, you should still clean your hands after collecting the mail from a post office or home mailbox. Then what about if I order takeout or delivery? It may be possible that someone could pick up the virus off of a surface like a packing container and then touch their own mouth, nose, or eyes. But this is not thought to be the main way the virus spreads. We definitely feel that that is safe. If you do order in, pay online or over the phone. Ask for a delivery without in-person contact when possible. Have the business leave the food in a safe spot outside your home. If that's not possible, stay at least six feet away from the delivery person. Once you pick up your food, be sure to clean your hands. Is my face covering effective in public? Potentially, the CDC says a virus can be transmitted in close proximity through coughing, sneezing, even speaking. These droplets can land in someone's mouth or inhaled into the lungs. It's an additional way to help protect you and to have you help protect others. A study published in the journal Disaster Medicine and Public Health Preparedness looked at the effectiveness of homemade masks. It found out of the household items, a pillowcase or 100% cotton t-shirt provided some of the highest filtration rates while still allowing the person to breathe. Am I covered if I also wear gloves? No, the WHO says you could still pick up the virus and spread it to your mouth, face, eyes, etc. Regularly washing your bare hands provides more protection. Do I need to do anything special once I get home with my groceries? Nothing out of the ordinary. The Food and Drug Administration says there is no evidence that food or its packaging is transmitting COVID-19, but it is still possible. So follow the four key steps of food safety. Clean everything you're using to cook. Wash off fruits and vegetables under running water. Separate meat from other items while cooking and storing. Cook your food to the proper temperature refrigerate or freeze any food you don't eat within two hours. There's a lot to keep track of when protecting yourself and your family members, but following these tips can help you and others stay healthy. For News 8 Now Investigates, I'm Mel Meyer. And News 8 Now will continue to look into the many rumors about coronavirus and how it spreads. For more information on stimulus payments, military action and more, just head to our website, news8000.com.